Hey Movie Club fans and welcome to the Chabot Movie Club. We just want to say thank you for your continuous support and just want to let you know that here at the Chabot Movie Theater we have this little tradition we do with comic book movies where we have your friendly neighborhood comic book shop, Crush Comics, do a little debrief and we have like professional nerds that uh, do a little recap on, this, on the comic book movie. So yeah, without further ado, here is our, re our live reaction and the debrief for Spider-Man No Way Home. So I hope you guys enjoy, and here's a little spoiler warning for those of you who haven't seen it. Uh, for more information on tickets and showtimes, feel free to visit our website at www.theshabot.com. Thank you, and hope you guys enjoy. <laughs>
I think everybody knows us, but we are Crush Comics, your professional nerds of Cash and Rally. I'm Andrea, this is Josh, we have Cole and Tyler, and a special guest appearance by one of our most annoying Spider-Man fans, Miles Ritchie. <laughs> throughout this movie, and I hope that some of you felt this way too, it felt like a comic book. I haven't read a ton of Spider-Man, but I've read a bit, and it felt like a Spider-Man book, like a perfect Spider-Man arc, like a nice 10, 12 book series. Really, really just, yes. Like it hit the, those notes for me, just like Into the Spider-Verse did. Um, and you haven't seen, for me, I haven't found that in the previous Spider-Man movies, any of them. And then this one, I mean, the, okay. So my favorites, <laughs> favorite parts, here we go. Um, the science Peter montage. Yeah. Yeah. Adorable. And, and the math. They did the, the math. math. He just figured out and the he, geometry yeah, he, of the mirror. And the mirror. Yeah, that's that's math. Math. Yeah. Awesome. yeah, but the, the science, the little like, we're gonna put on our lab coats and we're gonna figure this out yeah. in like a high school lab. Yeah, yeah, no, it's Peter Parker. Peter Parker. Um, that, and then when Andrew Garfield cuts and dies. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Josh and I, so so we, we loved the chemistry between uh, Gwen and Peter Parker in the amazing movies. Um, I know a lot of people don't like those movies, but the chemistry for us just made those movies. So we were both, <laughs> oh my God. You know, it was, it was a moment and yeah, I mean, I, I really, <laughs> can we talk about Electro? Yeah. The glow Guys, up. can we, the glow up? Yeah. Can I we love talk? that they just let Jamie Foxx, Jamie Foxx. Yeah. Like, yeah. they let him really Jamie Foxx, that's what he did. Can we talk about the star, mm -hmm. the moment? Yeah, oh yeah. So, uh, uh, Electro in the comics has like, this wacky star face, and just a moment, yeah. we got really it on, on yeah. Jamie. Popped up, really cool. Really cool, favorite moments. 
Oh my goodness. Um, so many. Um, <laughs> but you were talking about comic books. We officially get both. We get a go to space, kick Thanos in the face, Peter. Um, Tony Stark, but we did it. We full circle, bare bones, apartment, Ren is due, red and blue. My God, we're back. <laughs> we are dealing with a comic book Peter Parker, and that is so good because so many people hit the Iron Boy Jr. stereotype, and that's over. Yeah. He's his own Spider Man now. Wow, well, I start... said sorry, man. I'm yeah, sorry. no, this is about you. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> no, man, this is this is such a great. We got both. Yeah, yeah. I'm very happy. I agree. Yeah, we always talked about that we didn't get enough web slinging in the other films. Oh my God. You know, he's out traveling, or he's helping the other heroes, you know, now we finally get the film. Like you said, bare bones is the yeah. best way to put it. Um, but going back to what Andrea said, too, with the, my favorite scenes, I'm a huge fan of Willem Dafoe, and I think he just cranked it up to, like, the fullest for this one, that, that first fight. The laugh. Like, the laugh, that the smile, powerful. yeah, big old, big old eyes of his, everything. <laughs> yeah. I, I love the movie. The purple movie, the costume design on their, like, their like street version was really cool. Yeah. Like yeah. the green jacket, the purple yeah. sweatshirt. It, 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 it's awesome. Yeah. yeah. And, and his final moment with Toby with the, with the glider and everything, that, that hit me. That struck a struck a chord. I've seen that before. Yeah, exactly. It was <laughs> yeah, so, so well. Yeah. Isn't that kind of ultimate though? Like the ragged purple yeah. kind of hoodie? Yeah, it's very much so. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Do we want to open it up? Do you guys have any questions, I comments? You had comments. I was trying to be. You guys have comments. Yeah, what, 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 what you got? What you got, bud? Okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah, we'll your favorite comments. So, lots of favorite comments. Um, I'm always kind of trying to hone in on the little details that they put in for comic nerds. One thing that I noticed pretty quickly is um, the Feast Van. At yeah. Hitco, graffiti it did. Yeah. inside. Yeah, did. That was really cool. I want to know if the guy that MJ was serving at the very end of the movie was, um, he looks like J. Michael Straczynski to me. Mm -hmm. and it could be. I don't know. They, they add in creators from the comics a lot of times, which is really cool to see those guys get some love for the, the amazing work that they do. Um, but about comics, there were shades of One More Day in this, which is kind of a terrible story and um, <laughs> but they they kind of redeemed it there there it's a plot about Peter making a deal with Mephisto the devil to save Aunt May by giving up his marriage to, to Mary Jane and um, Mary Jane kind of doesn't forget him but they're they're not um, they're not romantically involved anymore they're like ex-lovers and, and boyfriend girlfriend and he he sacrifices that uh, to say that name. So it's really cool to see that reflected in the movies, but in a, in a really cool way. Cool. The rest of it. If I gotta oh, choose one moment, it was for sure that 15 4 power bomb yeah. <laughs> that uh, Green Goblin hit uh, Tom with. That was inspired. I don't know where that came from. Um, and I also gotta give some love for, we wanna talk about things that irk me. Uh, Stephen Strange in the MCU. Mm -hmm. uh, has got a lot of accolades that I don't think he deserves. We saw a good example of how irresponsible he could be. So the fact that they gave Wong the title of Sorceress Supreme, right? can, can, can I just ask, do you guys think that Wong should be Sorcerer Supreme? Because I'm starting to think that Wong should be Sorcerer Supreme. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. My man's yeah. getting stuff done. And I don't know if you guys saw that Spider-Man uh, No Way Home trailer, but Dr. Strange kicking in his tins with his coffee mug and messing up the universe, so. saw Rift open and I saw Craven the Hunter and I saw yeah, Scorpion. Spear. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I saw Gwen Stacy and Miles. Did you? Oh, okay, I didn't see you. Those are scenes that I'm going to have to watch over and over again. Yeah, right. And we will. Watch them over and over and over again. Right in front of the television. Yeah. Yeah. Very shout out, subtle shout out to Miles, right? Yeah. With Jamie Foxx, there's gotta be a Black Spider-Man out somewhere. Yeah. Hope so. Hope so. Really hope so. Well, we know he's running around out there somewhere. We know he's running around, right? So, um, homecoming. Homecoming. Right. In homecoming, we see him uh, run into the Prowler. Um, what's the actor's name? Donald Glover. Donald Glover plays the yeah. Prowler. And Prowler is the uncle of Miles Morales. And in that movie, he says, you know. 
it's, it's something like I'm glad you're out here because I've got a, a I've got a nephew yeah. running around, so mm -hmm. it's good that you're. Yeah, so really cool. He's out there somewhere. The venom thing? Can we talk about the venom thing? Yes, we got a little yeah, bit of symbiote. Yeah, got a little bit of venom. A little bit of symbiote. I want to hear what you want to have to say about a little bit of venom. That's excellent, man. Yeah? The Sony, you know, I'm not a fan of the Sony movies, the standalone ones without Spider-Man. Um, but Before now we can have both. They really found a way to please everyone. We, I thought they left Eddie for a second. I thought that that's what was going on, that they forgot Eddie Brock yeah. in, oh my God. in the MCU. The, the spell just gets everyone by yeah. him. Yeah. Yeah. No, we got the drop, and that'll, that'll, that'll do its thing when it comes. <laughs> um, this is a really Black cool suit. way to get through. Black, Black suit. Yes. They're going to get through all the contract trouble yeah. with these smart little setups. Um, they're smart. John Watts, Cole, let's go back to that. Cole is also an avid hater of the director. Oh, no. <laughs> I do not hate that man. I, got, I don't know. I have no problems with John Watts, the man. He actually moved the camera on this one. It was crazy. <laughs> Dude, I'm telling you, man, if that's the man that shows up to Fantastic Four, that franchise is in good hands. Because this was a completely different beast. But somehow the same monster. Uh, I'm, yeah, I have no shortage of good things to say about what he did with Spider-Man in this movie. And I think we kind of saw some of the uh, more interesting aspects of his directing style in the last movie with like the uh, Mysterio scene where it was like this crazy vision quest. And I feel like with Doctor Strange, he was able to kick that up to the millionth yeah. degree and kind of show what he could really do. He's nuts. I haven't heard from Tyler in a while. <laughs> <laughs> well, we were talking about Doctor Strange. We gotta talk about how we just got a full trailer. Yeah, not a singer. Not even that. Not a yeah. singer, really. The yeah. first time since uh, Captain America 1, the post credit scene of Captain America 1 was the Avengers teaser. And they only ever did that once. And we just did it again. They need warnings for that. I almost had a heart attack. With man. Wanda. Yeah. The trailer into a singer. Yeah. Interesting choice. Very cool. Not done with you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, what I really want to talk about is the second strange. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so yes. did you watch What If? Yeah. Yes. 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 Right. Yes. 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 Who here has seen What If, the cartoon? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Okay. So, <laughs> our, our oldest was in the audience. Uh, we, we had our kids up with us, but they're home sleeping, and, and my... Hopefully sleeping. Hopefully. But my eight-year-old goes, they brought him to life! She's so stoked. <laughs> I, I think that that's what... I mean, I think that's implied, that it's evil Doctor Strange. It's no one. Whether, I mean, they say that Disney Plus is canon, so I don't even think that they're going to build his origin. I think it's just going to be like, and here's evil Doctor Strange. Yeah. 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 So, a lot going into yeah. that movie, but yeah. Yeah. That's him. Real Doctor Strange is in trouble, because anybody that saw that episode knows that uh, evil Doctor Strange does not play around. <laughs> and I don't think that, uh, yeah. I don't think good, good Doctor Strange better do some like hand stretches, better read some books. He needs some new tricks. It's called Strange Supreme or Strange something? Supreme. Strange Supreme. Look, they named it Strange Supreme. I think yeah. they're giving us a hint. Yeah. <laughs> um, Shumagora? Shumagora. Shumagora. Who else could it be? How else could it be? We scream. So I'm a little spoiler monster, and um, <laughs> I've known about that scene for a good couple of days now. Oh, okay. Yeah, sorry. Um, and through piecing together through various toy leaks and blah, 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 that is another one that whose name escapes me. It's like Gigantor, or I think, I think I know who you're Gigantas. talking about. Yes. I don't know. Weird name. Not, but I'm not giving you Shuma. Probably going to give you Shuma in the same movie. I okay. saw a big yeah. eyeball with tentacles. It's close it's enough for me. It's, 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 it's close enough. Yeah. Do we have, yeah. Uh, what's the introduction of, uh, of Matt to the MCU? Murdoch. Oh, oh my god. Yeah, we know how much we know. Because he's such a great lawyer. Yeah, right? <laughs> yeah. 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 Um, I believe that we're going to see Matt Murdock in the She-Hulk um, Disney Plus show. Mm -hmm. the, uh, her name is Tristan. I can't remember the actress's name. It's been a while. She Tatiana, yes, that's it, yeah. Um, very excited, Matt Murdock. I mean, are we all caught up on Hawkeye? Yeah. Yes. Anybody yes. that yes. isn't, yes. 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 done. Yes. Okay, okay. 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 So, so some, watch Hawkeye, watch the newest Hawkeye episode. We got a, we got a hand in the back right there. What do you have? Part when the whole 
Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Wait, wait for that when we were silhouetted on the building top, he just yeah. emerged. My goodness. Yeah. Oh. I mean, my, fa my favorite theme was Three Spideys. Yeah. I love the Three Spideys. I thought that we we've been waiting for them. You know, we've been hoping, and it, it, they really delivered. Worst kept secrets in cinematic yeah, history. Yeah, no, I think mean, it's okay <laughs> that they can do it. It was a movie with Tom Holland in it. It's automatically the worst kept secret. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what, though? Spoilers. Hey, they trained that man well, though. He said, they're not getting me this time. This is my third rodeo. You did a clean job this time. Huh. Wait, what do you got? One thing that I don't think many people noticed in the Back to Strange series is that Tom Holland Someone in a jacket with a star on the back. I know exactly what you're talking about. <laughs> yeah, sure. yeah, I did see that. That's a, uh, um, for those of you that don't know, that's America Chavez. Um, uh, yeah. New character. New yeah. ish, right? Uh, very cool. She's Puerto Rican, but also an alien, right? Extra dimensional. Yeah. Extra dimensional. Extra dimensional. So very cool. She could be from another. Punches holes in reality? Yeah. Yeah. I think just for hope, because they're also introducing Kamala Khan. MCU, she'd be Galactus, Thanos, uh, yeah. she's absolutely house. rad, and Tippy Toe is Dr. her sidekick, Dr. and it's Dr. adorable. Now, hold on, we got off topic here. I'm not done, my boy. <laughs> <laughs> no, I didn't have anything to say. I just oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the, the, the pumpkin ball play in this yeah. movie, yeah. Oh. several Tom just put one and took that hit, he just put one in the glider and went down with it. The amount of fun that Willem Dafoe was having just being pure oh evil oh, yeah. was so infectious. Like, even when he got the bomb in his tailpipe, he just, ah! Like, he's <laughs> the greatest time of his life. Did anyone else feel like this was the best Green Goblin ever? Like, yeah. Yeah. He was oh. better than when he played Green Goblin originally. Like, he just... And like, they learned I, I feel like it was turned up. I feel like it was yeah. a good next step for almost every character they brought back. Yeah. Yeah. Do we have a comment, question? <laughs> what? Amazing! Oh, you're amazing. The, the, that line that they just kept telling him over and over again. Yeah. Amazing. I like that they, they delved into the web fluid. Yeah. You don't have to talk about it. It makes you uncomfortable. No, I um. Why didn't they tell him if they love him back? I know. That was quick. Like, yeah, that was fast. They spoke for us. Yeah. They, they didn't even nah. punch anybody yet, you know? <laughs> you gotta at least go through one combat together before we break out the I love you. <laughs> yeah. Amazing yeah. Spider Man has a, a big heart. I, 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 I would have told him, but you know, I would Is there a defense? I don't even love me that much. I would say. <laughs> 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 that would be my defense. Yeah, if I was thinking that with three me's, I'd be like, this guy sucks. <laughs> <laughs> We're not saying nobody. You're a hindrance. <laughs> uh, what about the, the two older Spider-Mans commiserating over the aches and pains? Uh, very cool. Yeah. Very cool. The yeah. older wiser Spider-Man. Yeah. 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 I liked Toby. I think this is the first time I've liked Toby McGuire as Spider-Man. Yeah. I, I did I, I kind of dislike the first three Spider-Man. I don't really like Toby McGuire, but I really like the, him as an older Spider-Man, like yeah. sees the seahorse and you know, another seahorse and making it work. They said Andrew started getting brutal in his universe. Yes. Yeah. 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 Like a dark, a dark. Now I want to see everyone who went back and what happened. I want to see Andrew yeah. just. I think it's crazy yeah. that they actually gave satisfying, like arcs and continuations of these stories that have been dead for like ten plus years, yeah. eight years. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like. That was my biggest question. How can you make a satisfying? And they did. 20 years. Yeah. I'm worried about Ned because in one of the comic storylines, Ned is one of, 
is one of the people who becomes hobgoblin. Right. Yes. Yeah, did have a lot of brain we have a yeah. lot of knowledge in the front row, guys. Yeah. 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 I want you guys to know this kid, he <laughs> on it. Kind of eats so we might be able to yes. up, right? It's amazing. Yeah. I love it. I love it. It needs to be in the next yeah. panel. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, That's wow. amazing. Keep it up. Come over and talk to us. Yeah, well. <laughs> well, whenever I have a question, I just raise my hand. Mm -hmm. It helps us. We're not that interesting anymore. Anyway. <laughs> 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 um, yeah, Ned, Ned was really cool. We got to see Ned develop a little bit. We got him wearing the, the cloak of levitation. That was really cool. Yeah, it was a yeah. ring. That was awesome. Um, but he said that he had sparkles before he had the ring. Yeah, he did say that there's magic in his family. Yeah. And yeah. He, was there a moment with Wong? Like, I don't know. He should join, should join like, Doctor Strange. Well, now What's he doesn't that? remember anything. Yeah. We don't got to bring Wong into Doctor Strange's crazy side projects. He's just chilling. <laughs> Wong's yeah. got a lot to do. He's a sorcerer oh, supreme. Sorcerer supreme. I know he wasn't the person who let all that snow into the sake of St. Thor either. So, <laughs> Doctor Strange has to explain it. You think there's he has <laughs> spelled about that snow? Right. It probably is strange, doesn't know it. <laughs> <laughs> and another person who could be lurking in the next Doctor Strange movie is Mordo. Well, we did see Mordo. Yeah. Yeah. We did get to see yeah. Mordo. That was cool. New, New hair. New hair. He seems to be slightly chummy with evil Doctor Strange, which I find fascinating. Well, so, I mean, the end of the first Doctor Strange movie was Mordo sucking the, yeah. the power out of yeah. um, not Luke Diamond Phillips. Basketball player, dude. Yeah. 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 Yeah, the guy that Benjamin Bratt. Benjamin Bratt. Benjamin Bratt. Benjamin Bratt. Benjamin Bratt. Benjamin Bratt. Yeah, he's such a magic guy. He's like magic isn't for Normies, basically. They both think he's Julia Roberts. Anybody else? Anything? I'm trying to think of another. So, knowing that like everyone with purple ribs knew who Peter Parker was coming in, does that make Cole Jonah Jameson canon? Yeah. Yeah. Yo, Kevin Feige, run me my check. Who's recording? <laughs> let's, let's, I'm saying this to Marvel Studios. I am canon. Let's get this going. Is that all of us? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Just confirmed. You're in Spider-Man 3. There was a question in the second row. Sorry. What did you have to say? Uh, do you think that Toby and Andrew will ever come back after this? The, I mean, I want that mm -hmm. a lot. But I, I don't. don't so. But think about this, though, right? So, Sony and Marvel are playing nice, right? Yeah. But Sony's still making standalone movies without Spider-Man. Uh -huh. Well, you just brought back two Spider-Men that you own. Why not? Yeah. Word. And so, yeah, I, I mean, I think I would rather see Tom Holland in their movies than, than them be back here. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, they could make yeah, yeah. An amazing and, Spider -Man but movie. I also, like, we can mm. just... Like this is that's so nice, good. Nice that's what, that's really how yeah. I feel. Yeah. Like yeah. this is so good. Like don't don't mess it up. That's and a little bit how I feel about the next Spider Verse. Just just no no. 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 Just, I'm, I'm so more, excited. Uh, no. More disappointment. Hey, if I see that trailer, the let's let's, let's based on how this movie was. What's our our ranking for Spider Man movies? Because I still think I still think that Spider Verse is the top. Spider Verse is yeah. number one. This is number two for me. I'm, I'm, I'm so proud of you. You're making him choose, man. <laughs> oh no. Fresh off of this seeing, one, I want to give it to I'm just seeing leaves turn yeah. over everywhere I look. Cole, Andrea. I'm so <laughs> glad this movie was hype. <laughs> oh, he's having, dude, he's having the best huge. time. This is his best time. I don't want to talk about it. I don't want to hear it. He sewed his suit next year. Ooh, a sewing yeah. machine. I mean, we've got a suit. So I told the first thing I literally said when this movie ended is I'm getting my life together. I'm gonna work out with my boys because I need to fit into that suit when they make it. I'm going to wear it one day. <laughs> yeah. I was gonna ask. Speaking of suits, yeah. Do we love that the black suit was just the suit inside out? Yes. Yes. With the yes. circuses. Yes. I loved it. I love that. It's, I like it when they do practical things. I like it when it makes sense. When it's just not you know like. Miles spray paint in his suit, and it's like, yeah, that fits, because you're a graffiti artist. And like, just like, not like switching the suits for no reason. I like this. You know what I feel I really like bad for? I feel really bad. Yeah. Shout out to Harry Holland, Tom Holland's brother. He is the one who threw the green paint on him, and they cut his scene out. So. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Yeah. Shout out that, to the Holland that, family. That whole little sequence, a little bit of criticism, that whole, uh, that whole little sequence felt kind of disjointed. 
like like they were running into the house and then we saw the like montage of him getting pain in the street. It just yeah. that didn't flow very well. So I don't know. But it was kind of a long movie, so oh. what about the possibility of Toby McGuire coming back with Sony? Because it's the older Spider Man that trains Miles. <gasps> I gotta say I really wish that Jake Johnson was in this one all the way. I wish that they were going to open a third portal and that could be Jake Johnson. Jake Johnson is Peter, Peter B. Parker uh, from the Andy. He's just yeah. Yeah. He's like, yeah. He's like, he's like this. no, I've done this. Yeah. 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 Got it. Maybe in the next Spider-Verse movie, which we know is coming out by a second trailer, we could maybe see a Tom Holland cameo. That'd be cool. Yeah. Oh, that would be cool. They did that. Spider-Verse. So, what, one thing that I'm really excited about in that trailer is um, there's a scene where, where it, has everybody seen that trailer? Anybody? Uh -huh. New into the Spider-Verse? I mean, it's not a spoiler. Yeah. They yeah. Look it up. So, it's, it's Spider-Man 2099 dragging Miles through a bunch of different realities. Um, and there's a moment when one of them flips, but the flip is written in Hindi. And that means we're gonna get Spider-Man India, who is super cool. Yeah. Um, he's a Spider-Man with with a Spider-Man top and Aladdin pants and like genie shoes with the Spider-Man pattern. He's really really cool. Um, he's like one of my favorite Spider-Man. So it's <laughs> awesome that we might get him in that one. Yeah. 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 Anybody? Back in Anybody? the back. Um, so in the movie when they went into the den and they started to like kick her out of the scene, I didn't catch it, but they There was the doll that turned his head. The doll that turned his head. Yeah, the yeah. head. Yeah. My eight-year-old lost her mind because yeah. she's terrified of dolls. <laughs> 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 yeah, I, I honestly, like, seeing that, I would have just picked it up, thrown it in a fire. Yeah, yeah. That's there was a doll? Was a yeah, doll. no, it's like, 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 I must have blocked it out because I don't do dolls. Speaking of things I missed, like I said, I'm a spoiler monster. I saw some stuff on Twitter, and I was really curious, and I'm wondering if I missed it, if there was a really good fan at it. But based on the context of this movie, I saw a picture of two MIT cards. One Gwen Stacy, one Norman Osborn. And I have to know if I missed that. So I will be seeing this movie another time because oh. that would be very I interesting. Where would they have put it? See? It's right? Like with the Dean? I probably, I probably got Rickroll. I probably got Rickroll. But I want to know. Have seen like, when, she, when she started chewing out? Yeah. Oh, sorry. Oh when the, when the, yeah. the admissions lady started chewing out Doc Ock, that was crazy. Yeah. That, that, was, that was bad. Doc Ock! Doc Ock! When he was like playing, right? Like, no, I've got them. And then he's like, I'm gonna be the hero. Because Doc Ock wasn't a bad guy. Oh, like, Sandman came in a good guy. Yeah. And then Sandman doesn't know what's going on. He's just, he's just, he's just, he's just, I just want to see my daughter. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, you know, I think that was cool, though. I did want to say, because another part of the. Um, I wasn't quite sure how they were going to balance this idea that they're, these villains are working together or they're all from these different universes, how are they going to come together? And I think it was interesting that that final battle, they're all coming for their own reasons. Sandman wants to hit the box and go home. Green Goblin just wanted to mess stuff up. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It, was just, it was just interesting. The, uh, the thing with the tentacles and the, the nanomachines was very cool. Oh, yeah. and, then, and then Peter just was like, oh, new device detected. I'll just... Yeah, the two oh, those are mine now. Like mm -hmm. it was very cool. Um, yeah, what you got? So if you're gonna have to go out of a funnier scene, <laughs> well, you can't have Spider-Man without comedy. Yeah. Well, and yeah. I think that this, it, it, I think it balanced really well the serious scenes and the comedy, mm -hmm. uh, because I mean, Aunt Aunt May hit us hard. That was a, yeah. That was yeah. A, a very, very sad scene. But, the thing I noticed with every Spider-Man in one way or another, there's three people they always lose in one way or another. Mm -hmm. Their we version of Aunt May or Ben, their girlfriend and their best friend. We still don't know about Uncle Ben in this universe. Yeah. I was almost expecting Uncle yeah. Ben to walk up at the grave yeah. and not be happy. Because that was that was like if it wasn't happy if but Uncle Ben showed up. You know the, the implication is that he didn't get murdered, at least the way they were talking about it. I don't so. know. We yeah. are getting 
we're getting the Disney Plus show, yeah. uh, a cartoon called Spider-Man Freshman Year, and it is the six-month gap we never saw where Peter first gets bit and gets his, and I think that's where they're gonna squeeze in all their Uncle Ben stuff. And this is the first kind of mention of the Spider-Man. It, it is, yeah. Do we have any questions? Yeah, I'm just going to. Is there any more questions? Comments? No? I think we have a resounding, like, panel of just, we're pleased. We're very pleased. Very, very happy. Ten out of ten for whips. Yeah. 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 Yeah.